one other thing that I wanted to add was, um, you know, just to make a short video, um, you have to uh, see through the individual that you're fighting. You have to um, see them as the child that they are, you know. You have to see them as the, um, you have to fight the actual being that they are, that they're trying to hide in themselves through the muscle and the facade of this uh, professional fighter kind of thing, you know, because most UFC fighters, they fight in a state of uh, uh, theatrics and unrealistic. Their mindset is not uh, properly uh, proportioned, which is why a lot of fighters get bruises. That's an indication why fighters are not real professional fighters because they receive bruises. They don't not they don't know how to use their mind to withstand punches to um, deter bruises from appearing on their face after multiple punches from the opponent. This is one reason why the person who receives the punches that gets the bruises is not in the right mind state and the person who's punching that person is only winning because this person is allowing it allowing it to occur like i said there's two two fools in a theatrical mind state trying to be like steven seagal and bruce lee that are just fighting each other causing bruises to each other because they don't know how to see through the facade of what they're trying to present in the the in the media of the ufc the commercialism of the ufc the tough the tough guy you have to see through the person and see them as the weak child the wannabe fighter you have to see through that. When you see through them and you fight who they really are, or who they're trying to hide underneath all of that muscle, then you could throw them around like a rag doll, throw them around like a child. You know, you'll be because you're fighting that person. You know, you have to be stronger in the mind, not so much in the body. The mind is what really controls the the fight and the outcome of the fight, whether you win or lose. That's what really happens. One of the reasons why um, that Manny Pacquiao, you know, one of the reasons why he wins a lot of his fights is because um, a lot of people, what, what people don't understand is that here in America, it's very strange. We, um, we take heed too much of the things that are happening. We hate actors and sports stars and all this stuff, but yet at the same time, we criticize them, but at the same time, we're, we're still talking about them and we're still fixated on them. You know, it's like a... Um, we're hypocrites. We we see through a lot of people, but yet we can't keep ourselves away from actually believing them, by by actually believing the people, believing the people that we by by actually um, commenting and talking about how much we hate the people. We're actually believing in them, you know. And that's the thing that's kind of like a big big old um, cluster, is that we're too involved, too much emotionally in the situation. That then becomes a form of theatrics. Theatrics is pretend. We watch too much television, too much movies to really understand what really fighting is. We all, all have the ability to be great fighters. But we have to step away from theatrics. We all can be practically almost unstoppable if we try to push away theatrics and see fighting. And see through fighting. And become superior mentally in a, in, in, in a state of physical... In, Physicality, a state of, of confrontation. <clears throat> well, um, the reason why, um, and the people don't understand is other other places in the world, people who, um, like in Asia, they understand the concept of what we're doing. Like when they see, um, pornography movies, when they see, um, action films, when they see, when they hear music, they understand the concept of what we're trying to do. That's the thing is that when people fight in the U.S., they're trying to put out the concept instead of under the concept and theatrics instead of understanding what fighting is. But in other parts of the country, they understand the concept. They detach themselves. They understand it. They appreciate our art, but they don't try to get too emotionally involved in the actual concept, the actual lie of the theatrics, the play, the playing around. It's hypocritical because here in America. We know better, but at the same time, we get ourselves too involved emotionally in, in, in other stars and other fighters' situations and, uh, and things like that, that we lose track of, of understanding a concept and detaching ourselves, watching from a distance, and appreciating, but not getting too involved that it affects our mind. You know, in other countries, 
in Asia and other places like that, they understand the concept, but they don't get too involved, you know? And that within itself, the reason why pa Manny Pacquiao fights very well and does well is because he understands those concepts, but he doesn't get involved in the theatrics. He doesn't allow the pretend, the pretending of fighting that he sees on television or movies to to um, affect the actual um, the actual situation of a confrontation. He doesn't allow those fake, uh, premeditated, rehearsed uh, play fight scenes in a film. He doesn't allow that to affect him. He doesn't try to reenact or pretend. He sees through that and he understands the concept, which is why he beats a, a lot of people up, no matter how big they are, no matter how much muscle they have. He's a small guy, but yet he sees through that because he's not involved. And a lot of people in other countries, they're not involved emotionally in the theatrics. You know, Americans like to comment and be, and be critics and to sit back and think that they know better, but they're too emotionally involved in what they're criticizing. They take heed in what they're criticizing. And yet they try to get involved and try to reenact those things in a real situation as if every situation is um, every situation is almost like uh, an opportunity to be like Bruce Lee. You know, no. Fighting is not trying to pretend like someone else. You have to see through people, see the fool that they are, fight the inner weak child that's in them, and you will beat them. Don't let the theatrics or the idea or the concept interrupt you're fighting. That's how many Pacquiao also fights because he doesn't take heed or he doesn't let the uh, he, he 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 doesn't let the theatrics of movies and things like that in uh, affect how he fights. He doesn't use those. He doesn't use the actual way that Bruce. He he doesn't try to reenact how Bruce Lee roundhouses or punches. He punches and fights the way that he sees himself fighting. He sees through those things. But other people that he fought like Cotto. And, and, and a lot of other fighters, they were too involved theatrically. They were too involved the theatrically in the situation, you know? And one reason why I think that Manny Pacquiao will beat Mayweather is because he sees through Mayweather and sees the, ch the weak child in Mayweather, and he will fight that weak child and punch him across the damn top of the damn noggin and knock him out because he sees through that. But a lot of people in America, the reason why Manny, uh, Mayweather is a great fighter is because a lot of people take heed into the the theatrics of that like in England they're too involved in American culture you know like mentally and, and, and psychologically and emotionally which is why Hatton why Hatton Ricky Hatton lost the fight because there again he wasn't involved he, he, he wasn't he didn't allow himself to understand the idea of the fight but to detach himself emotionally and to see through the situation of the fight see through the situation detach yourself emotionally See through the situation and see through the opponent. Don't consider the lavishness. Don't consider, don't consider the whole thing of what fighting is. This big epic thing, film, this big epic ending in Jean Claude Van Damme movie. Don't see it as that. Don't see it as a, as a, as a spectacle of something that's on television. See it as a situation that's real, but emotionally detach yourself and see through this, and, and also see through the situation and see through your opponent. Fight that child, fight that weak person that's in them that they're trying to hide, and you will win the fights. Even if you're not a trained fighter, you can beat the most greatest fighter in the world just by having that concept. But you have to believe in the concept at the same time. 